Today we're visiting Medellin's most dangerous neighborhood. Are we crazy? No, actually it's no longer actually the most dangerous neighborhood, but at some point it was. And today it's one of Medellin's best examples of urbanization and social transformation. And now it's actually a tourist attraction. So we're gonna explore that together. One of the cool things about Medellin is that they have a really good public transportation service. We took the Metro from Poblado to two different stops and got here within 20 minutes. We're gonna talk more about the Metro later because the Metro plays such an important role in the transformation and transition to the Medellin that we know today. So let's head to Comuna 13. We arrived to the San Javier station. So coming out of the San Javier station, you're gonna land on Car 99 you're gonna walk up towards this incline then you're not even at Comuna Tercia yet you gotta walk all the way to the end of the street and that's where it begins so right now it doesn't look like much it's just a regular residential street but then Comuna Trece is gonna blow you away I visited for the first time a couple months ago with my sister that time that Kevin and I split up wink wink <laughs> So I already know what's in store for us, but Kevin hasn't been, so it's gonna be fun to see his reaction. But if you're limited on time and you're not a big walker, you could also take a bus or a taxi from the San Javier station to the beginning of Comuna 3. One thing that I'm noticing as we keep going up, the temperature keeps getting cooler and cooler. <laughs> so, block by block, right? Yeah, so maybe I think bringing a sweater, maybe a jacket, like a light jacket, I'm just in sweating. case it rains or something. You're fine. Just a little pro <laughs> tip, you know? Sure. But, 15 minutes from now, Jenny's gonna be crying that it's cold. So. I will not. So we'll be eating some hot chocolate with cheese or <laughs> cafe, cause you know, you know how it is. Okay, my bad, I got that totally wrong. It is, we got to the end of the street on Carrera 99 and it is absolutely not the way to Comuna 13. And check the map again to Escaleras Eléctricas Comuna 13. That's a great point. If you're looking for like a specific point on the map, that's where you should look. And I just realized we're still a 20 minute walk away from that. And we just hiked up this whole street, so we're gonna take a taxi. Jenny's tour guide. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Don't 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 rate me on TripAdvisor. Uh -uh. So that was a short taxi ride, about five minutes, but he saved us an additional hike up. Exploring the neighborhood is a hike up anyway, but the moment you walk in, it's vibrant, it's busy. This place is hustling and bustling. There's so much color, so much smells to this place. People are getting drinks, buying hats, getting tattoos, getting <laughs> everything, everything here. <laughs> there are tours you can take, there's a tour right there. Um, the tours are great to learn specifically why this neighborhood was once dangerous and why it's transformed. I think the tour that we took, the walking tour with, with Real City Tours, gave us a pretty good idea over all of the city's transformation. But I think it would also be nice to do this tour. We, we don't have time for it today, unfortunately. The artistic colors, the murals, they just stand out so beautifully. And it looks kind of like a favela, like a Brazilian favela, like Brazilian favelas look like, but here in Colombia. You haven't seen anything yet. This is just, this is just the beginning. By the way, I'm on the hunt for a specific hat. I had one that said, it's Colombia, not Colombia. And I lost it in Barranquilla. So if we find it, we're buying it again. I just want to remind y'all that saying Colombia is a bad word in Colombia. <laughs> so make sure you check yourself on that. You're spelling C O L O M B I A. Imagine if everything I said went on a t-shirt. What is it? Like all things Carol G said. Tóxica de qué? Gordita pero sabrosa. Mamacita pero loca. Sí. Which one's for me, huh? Mamacita pero loca. Mamacita pero loca, that's me. You know what this reminds me of? Going up uh, in Bernal. When you go up La Piedra de Bernal. Oh yeah, the community, the Pueblo Mágico de Bernal. If Colombia did the same thing of Pueblos Mágicos, this area would totally be a Pueblo Mágico. What the heck, Marquesitas? We're getting one. <laughs> no, babe. Trust me, I had one last time, they're not good. Marquesitas are a popular Mexican treat, especially in Yucatan. It's originally where they're from. I tried one here when I was with my sister and they just, yeah, skip. Okay. Skip these. Just wait until we're back in Mexico. Okay, 
I think it's time for a coffee break. Yeah, I think so too. It's also a good time to talk about the metro system. Uh, this place is highly recommended by lots of people. It's Pergamino Cafe. They have several locations, but this one's I think the coolest because it's right in Comuna 13. I'm gonna have a limonada de cafe. What do you have? Same, same. Same, same, okay. So I got my coffee lemonade. Now we can talk. So you saw how many people out there. Those are all tourists, visitors, outsiders. What are all these people doing in the most dangerous neighborhood of Medellin? Medellin was once the most dangerous city in the world. And this neighborhood is where it's all happening at. Well, it's because it's no longer that way. A place that was often raided by police, cartels, illegal drug trafficking. This place was an absolute mess. But today it's a symbol of Medellin's social transformation, as is the metro system. That's why it's so important to recognize how special the metro system is in Medellin because just like Comuna 13, the train system is one of Medellin's biggest pride and joys. It's an example, a symbol of change, a symbol of health, a symbol of people changing their lives to the better. And it's honestly one of the cleanest, safest, nicest metro systems we've ever seen in the world. According to our tour guide, the metro system was established during one of the toughest times in Medellin's crime. So they were flooded with crime, drug violence, and you know what the city said? Let's put a metro system. Let's establish a metro system during a town where this city was drowning, drowning with crime. And boom, the metro system went out. The coolest metaphor that the tour guide gave us was that if somebody was drowning in the middle of the river and someone extends a branch for you to pull yourself out, the metro system is that branch where someone who's drowning, the water's all the way up here, pulls themselves out and is like, thank God I'm alive, I'm here to celebrate. And somehow the metro system and Comuna Trece have become symbols of that. If you're enjoying this video as much as I'm enjoying this delicious coffee lemonade, make sure to give a like, subscribe, and follow us on all of our journeys. Or you can help us out by buying us a coffee in the link below. And of course, a special thanks to our Patreon members who help support us and get exclusive access to content at patreon.com slash Cheers to you guys. All right, we had our coffee. Time to continue this tour. Now, this is a first for me, a barrio with an escalator. Yeah. Pretty cool escalator, if you ask me. Yeah. I do think climbing up the stairs might be better because there's mirrors all along the stairs. All right, I guess we're gonna work out now. <laughs> Coming from Cali, we hear a lot of salsa. Medellin. It's the city of reggaeton. That's why it produces artists like Maluma, Karol G, and everybody else. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is really impressive. Look at this. Yeah. The escalators keep going and going. The higher we go up, the cooler the view gets. I think we finally reached the top. Right. There's something that I tried last time I came that I've been dying to have Kevin try because I know he's gonna love it. Are you ready? What's up? Come on, I'll show you. We're gonna walk into the little store here right in front of that mirador. It smells like maracuya here. Yes. Wait, made, what is this? This may look like just a regular old little souvenir shop, but they have the best paletas de maracumango. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This smells strong in here. It was a store, but it's not strong like Maracuya, and I love Maracuya. Buenas tardes, bienvenidos a Cremas de la Trece. Estamos en las mejores cremas de la ciudad. Esto es recomendado por el turismo gastronómico y la alcaldía de Medellín. Tiene su forma de comer, sin malinterpretar lo que voy a decir. Presiono el vaso. Undo, saco, chupo, muerdo y la puntica no más. Si le vamos a hundir más de la puntica, se les derrama el limón. Uy. Reina, buen provecho. Meto, saco, chupo, muerde, solo la puntita. Ya le puedes poner de golosa acá en la traza porque... Sí, sigue practicando, sigue practicando. Sí, güey. Dígale, dígale, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Uy. ¿Te gustó o te gustó? Está riquísimo. ¿Verdad que sí? Wow. So did I guess it right? Is this like your new favorite thing? Oh, this is the best popsicle I've ever had. See, I know you well. I'm happy to finally see you enjoy this. When I tried this without you, I was like, oh. Couldn't believe that I that you weren't here with me the first time I tried. Glad, glad we got back together. <laughs>
and although we've reached the top there's still a lot more to explore we're gonna keep walking in this direction here to see the top of the neighborhood really cool full of tourist souvenir shops street food people hanging out just enjoying this gorgeous saturday afternoon as it's nearing about six o'clock in the evening the atmosphere is starting to get quite lit literally there's like music, people are drinking, partying, eating, hanging out. Oh my gosh, I know I said that already. But as it gets later, the energy just goes up and up. It is a great, it seems like it's a great area to come and party. It's popsicle though. <laughs> oh my god, did you see that? for another food item that I really enjoyed having while I was up here last time and that is an arepa de choclo con queso. Have you had one of those? Ooh, okay, I have to show you another cool thing. This is so impressive to me. It's like a neighborhood turned into a theme park. Pretty much. And it's not meant to be representative. <laughs> and we were told that it's not meant to be representative of like how the true barrios in Medellin live. It is just one area that happens to have been through a really the worst of times and it was transformed to be a tourist attraction, to be a symbol of hope, a symbol of change, and to invite outsiders to appreciate the change that Medellin has gone through. And for me, I say mission accomplished. I really like this area. That's one way to burn calories. Finally found the arepas de choclo con queso that I was looking for. They are looking good. These are calorie bombs, but they're delicious. This is it. Look at this. Choclo is a type of corn, as far as I know, and then cheese, condensed milk, more cheese. Oh, they're hot. <laughs> Savory and sweet at the same time. Do you like it? It's so good. It's good? Yeah. Go, so, so good. It's such a great dessert. Thank you so much for exploring Comuna 13 with us. Make sure to catch our other videos in Colombia. Se cuidan, se bañan, y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Ciao!